Hello, my name is Bruce Yeh, and today I thought we'd take a look at some of the instruments that my students built as part of our study in sound. Now the assignment was that they were supposed to build an instrument that would play a collection of eight notes. Now it could be an octave such as from C to C, or it could be notes from two or three octaves depending on what they wanted to do. Yeah, so I have a C major scale. It's um, just from C to C, start low C, D. E, F, G, A, B, C. Play your scale for us. Now, part of the assignment is they have to be able to tell me what that note is. They have to be able to tell me its frequency and then also calculate its wavelength. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. This one's C. This one's C sharp. This one's G. This one's E flat. Now it is up to the students to decide what type of instrument they want to make and also what notes it's going to play. Don't tell. Now this year we had quite a variety of different types of instruments. We had some students that made stringed instruments. We had quite a few percussion instruments. We also had quite a few wind instruments. We had a nice variety of flutes. Now the final part of the assignment is they had to try and play a song. Or at least part of one. Did I start it up first? Yeah, I started it. Okay.
Now students found a number of ways of tuning their instruments and identifying their notes. You might use something like this electric piano. Now there's also a number of apps that you can use on a phone or on a computer. I also had a few students borrow and use my tuning forks. Now it is possible to use other types of instruments also. For example, this matches up to that, which is a G. Let's take one more look at some of the ideas. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my students' homemade musical instruments. I'd like to thank you for stopping in and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.